So y'all about to graduate, huh, man? Y'all had a good time this these four weeks? Well, it's been about six weeks we've been together, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. So I'm proud of y'all, man. So you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to talk to y'all about a couple of things. I've been going through y'all like um, subscribers on YouTube and y'all pretty much y'all where y'all at on Spotify and all that. So that's the areas that we need to focus on because, you know, like you don't have no subscribers and no YouTube numbers. When they do y'all chart matrix, as if A and R, just, just look at y'all chart matrix. They wouldn't give y'all an opportunity to like, you know, they wouldn't give y'all a deal. So when y'all going about this, y'all need to make sure that y'all focus on marketing dollars only and not be worried about a deal, really, you know, because right now y'all wouldn't really get nothing for probably like five, six thousand dollars, and that's like you'll be signing yourself away for a real low price. So. Just questions for y'all, man. Where, where, where you at um, now on your Spotify? How many um, followers you have? Uh, I'm not sure about the followers, but you know what I'm saying. Monthly listeners. How many monthly listeners you have right now? I, first time I released anything was like five months ago. So um, um, since then, you know, I've gotten about like 200 views on that specific Spotify mm -hmm. account with those uh, two or three, three songs that I uh, released back in February. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of songs loading and shit that I'm uh, going to release. How many so, YouTube subscribers you have? Um, I don't have an official YouTube account. That's something I got to work on. Okay. So we got to get that. And um, are you are you on like Amazon? Like, so I mean, you haven't went to no DSPs right now. So right now, if I was to like give you an opportunity with music, it would have to be like a passion, a passion project, you know? It would be, had to be like something I would pretty much have to like dig the music and I would have to like build up from ground zero. So it'd be like, it's hard for new, to do that because um, most A&Rs, they don't come out and actually see you perform live. So they can't really get, you know, a, like a, a, like a um, what they would say, some type of um, perspective of like your growth. Cause they wouldn't know cause they just go based off numbers. So that, since they're going based off numbers, when you're running around doing shows, somebody will probably be like trying to manage you. And then, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, I'm going to build you up. You know what I'm saying? They're going to they gonna ask you to sign. And they're going to sign you. And when you get your deal, it'll be more like how um, five year old foreign was. You know, when somebody give you like $5,000, you know what I'm saying? But they're going to want their investment back in return. Right. Exactly. And you know what I'm saying? Since you didn't do all the work yourself. Right. You know, and then it's, it's, there'll be an expedited track. Because, you know, Mace has the leverage, and you know what I'm saying? Because he already been a successful artist, and he can get into a room. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Young dudes, y'all y'all know, y'all pretty much had to understand that you only can get in the room with somebody that's been successful before. So you, it's hard for you to just be like, hey, I'm fine. And they just let you in there and give you a deal. Because right. you have, you're not a bankable artist yet. All right. So the goal would be like six month goal, 12 month goal, you know what I'm saying? You're at, what, 200 right now? So the goal should be, like, I want to get to probably, like, 10 to 20,000 in six months, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, you know, you know where everybody was talking about spending marketing dollars on, like, um, Facebook ads and mm -hmm. Google AdSense and all that type of things so you could be able to, like, see some type of results, you know? That's for, true. Yeah, so, yeah. That's I mean, as far as I saw your performance get a lot better, too, man, you know? No, your body, you got a lot of confidence now. Man, it went crazy. Mm -hmm. Light man went crazy, yeah, man. Yeah, man, so Cody Shane this week, man. That's what y'all asked for. That's what Canty said. I said, who we need to um, pick? Canty said, Cody Shane. Well, Bear One Boss. I said, we'll go with Cody Shane. Nothing wrong against Bear One Boss, but I, I got a, a personal collection. I mean, you know, she was in, around in the playlist party and stuff, so that's crazy she said that out of all the people, you know, so that's yeah. kind of dope. Yeah, you know. And we got you, you just came up there and just did your own thing at the, at the show. That's the first time I ever seen you. You were one of one. That's the first time that anybody ever did it. But it's a good thing because, you know, you wanted to give a show. But you, when I look at yours, it's just like you got a lot of TikToks on there. So I'm just trying to see if whether, like, are you just doing it for TikTok? Are you an artist? I, I can't tell what your page is, really is. You know what I'm saying? It's not like an artist. So... You probably had to leave your TikToks, you know, those little circle box, you know, them little circles, you know, those little circles and stuff like they be having on the on the IG page. Mm -hmm. 
I would put all my oh, I'll put the insights. I would put all my TikToks and all those type of in there, so I could tell that you're an artist. Well, I was just telling him because uh, you know you build fans and certain people a certain way because uh, nowadays, like you have fans today and not just tomorrow. <laughs> so for me, I was just honestly. No, well, nowadays to... you can build a fan every day, and you if you go in there with that mindset, you would never you would always have an excuse for yourself. That is an excuse. But honestly speaking, I was just thinking about doing the dance. And then I don't know if you see my page today, but I did drop uh, three freestyles back to back. That's and good. I gained four followers. It's not much, but it's something. No, that's that's great. And um, I got feedback like this. Yeah, and because you're not dancing because you're rapping. You're an artist. <laughs> right. you, you just came here to be an artist. Right. Yeah, so it's like you got to take advantage of I mean, I know there's y'all all understand things just based off YouTube tutorials and, and all that, but it's like real life experience is like, that's how you really gonna get it. Like YouTube gonna tell you like, hey man, you don't know what you're talking about. YouTube said I get these blah, 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 but these folks are not even in the industry. You know what I'm saying? They just done ran their subscribers off of like, I like who gave them the, who gave them the right to be able to give knowledge to somebody? If they ain't actually out there, who are the artists? Who's their real example of an artist? So it's like, how can you be a professional? And we don't even know who your artist is. I mean, that's how I look. I mean, this is my common sense. JY is common sense. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, when y'all be, like, doing y'all research on things, y'all should, like, go a little bit deeper than surface value on, like, just because it pop up first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so um, ticket sales. We got to sell some tickets. Who sold 10 tickets throughout these four weeks? Tell the truth. Just be truthful. You're not in this crazy. I'm selling 10 tickets this week, though. Yeah, but you know the goal was to sell 10 tickets per week, right? Word. So, like, that's very, very, very important. Like, based upon that, I won't book none of y'all. You brought some people out sometime, you know what I'm saying? But... I wouldn't book none of y'all again. I'd be like, okay, y'all don't bring no people out. Y'all just trying to steal the crowd. You know what I'm saying? I, I say. Uh, what'd you say? As far as ticket sales, um, out there on on the block in general, doing what one does, and then throwing that, you know, I got a show Saturday. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. That's actually how I'm here today. Shout out, give for shit somewhere. Mm -hmm. But anyway. So Gift did her job. You feel me? Yeah, you got to do your job now. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. How many people you done brought out to each show? So far, networking wise. No, talk about how many tickets have you personally sold? A few. How many? About three. Okay. Three out of four weeks. No, it's been more than four weeks because we took a week or two off. I'm talking about the previous week. Yeah, but. Before then, I wasn't really trying. Why not? Because that was like. Off the record things right there. Okay, so like, so you not trying, but you saying you want to no, be no, up. No, 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 listen, 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 listen. Like when you said that right there, this what this is how I took that right. You pretty much told me that you didn't try, and you talking about that you an artist. You supposed to be an entertainer, but you didn't even try. But the person that where you at bringing all the top people, so it's like, why wouldn't you try? If I can bring some people, that means you can bring some people. You younger, you more energetic. You know what I'm saying? You got personality, so why you don't show that out in the street? I say it like this. As far as growth and development and being inspired and seeing how I can incorporate different things to how I'm yeah. moving, you can come out, you feel me? I'm, I'm getting them things in. It's like, okay, that's how, that's how easy it is. I have to show. I already do this on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? It's growth and development. Yeah. And it's more of a rephrase. I did say that kind of uh, cut tone, you feel me, as far as I ain't try. A nigga always trying in different ways. It's coming together. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so what you feel like you need to work on then? Oh, yeah. And what you need to know? And what you feel like you still need? What information you need? Okay. Um, kind of like how we spoke on in the uh, class the other week as far as oh, uh, I need to work on as an artist, as light man. You feel me? Mm -hmm. My penmanship is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So now we're getting to delivery and production. We had an NBA young boy, lawyer. Come out and really speak on production. You feel me? That production is uh, cherry on top. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm getting together. To be like, okay, 
Now I got my shit together. Now I can really start promoting myself. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So what about the people though? Well, you say that's what you really need to work on is a fan base. The music is the easiest part to do in this whole thing, in this whole process. The music is the easiest part of the game. How are you going to get out there and get people to actually listen to this mess? Is that our To this mess. Okay. It's about just the internet, just because, you know, if it's mess, that goddamn, that should be selling out. That's what I'm saying. You feel and so mine. you're just, just mess. Yeah, it's, 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 not, it's not bringing goddamn 50 people out right now. I'm getting there. Yeah, so, so I'm not, I'm not trying to shoot you down, but it's just saying you just need to be realistic and understand where you're at. It's like what make you give you your leverage is having people. Mm -hmm. you know, music could be like pitch poor, right? But if you have people, guess what? You won. And hey, I'll say this: one thing I love about Jay, he is wise for a reason. You feel me, man? All gonna keep it to you straight. You feel me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact. We need to get and get a round of applause for my boy, man. He put a lot of work in for us to even be. Y'all see the setup, yo? That's that's man, that's do this, you feel me? Hell yeah. I oh, appreciate y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Field. You MVP. They head coach. Y'all, y'all, man, y'all, y'all doing y'all thing, though. Know? But just imagine if we just all just go a little hard on just getting the people. The people, just imagine, like, we, we all, it's already a couple of people there, but just imagine y'all little 10 people a piece. That's 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120 people right there. And on top of what we already got right there, that thing wouldn't, nobody wouldn't be able to get in that, that room. Like, just really, like, if y'all really look at it like that. And y'all and y'all on social media, y'all supposed to be fire. Y'all got all these IG followers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got more than 110 people on y'all IG followers. So if y'all didn't have nothing but 10 people on your IG followers, you don't supposed to have nobody show up. I can see that. But y'all really got thousands of people on your IGs. So is that fake? Hey, okay, that's how I got on followers. I'm just saying, but is that fake, though? <laughs> I, came back, I came out here in April. No, I'm just saying, because guess what I think that is? You said what? I think that shit fake as hell. As far as followers? Yeah, that shit don't, no followers for y'all. Y'all okay. zero followers. No, he's dead ass, though. He's dead ass serious. See, my thing, Jay, was I, I, Zero followers. Not not trying to be funny. I'm not being funny. <laughs> not, not, you're right. A lot of mine, though, is in New York, and it could be a few because they could fly out if they really super fuck with me. But I really just want, that's why I want to come back in October, too, to change the narrative. Yeah, gas, wanna, gas station. You supposed to be, saying, look, you supposed to be at the gas station, yeah. jumping out the gas station with the kids, dancing that's, that's, with you. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's yeah, exactly turn up. Do. If y'all really want to go, y'all got to go hard. Y'all can't True. be just living in like the bubble because it's like I be out here, I talk to people, and I get people out. You know what I'm saying? Do. And you know, I, I can. It's just like it might. I don't know. If I was an artist, I feel like I would be on. You know what I'm saying? Because on the simple reason, because it's the only thing they're gonna do is say no. It's like once you learn, like everybody tell you no, know, like I would never see you again in my life. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Why am I so hurt that you said no to me? Who cares? Call it the next person. It's like, that's all it is. You can't be like emotional about somebody saying no to you. Because I just call you Cap. I call you Cap. You know what I'm saying? You talking about, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm 555 five, five, and all this. Like, you don't bring nobody out. You're not 555 five, five, and all that shit. That's Cap. You Cap. Big Cap. You Pi. You're not five. You know what I'm saying? So, not in a, in a point of this, you know us being able to have leverage. You find as individuals, let me just, you know what I'm saying, I don't want y'all to be mad at me, you know what I'm saying. Y'all find as individuals, but as of attracting and musically right now, we need, some, we need to work on getting more people to come, okay? I don't want to just, you know, be too hard on, like, on y'all. Nah, you good. Yeah, you know, because I know somebody put in the goddamn a report on me like, J.Y. talk bad to me today. You know what I'm saying? I don't need none of that, but. Anybody can do all that. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, look, so I just want y'all to understand, like, if y'all want to get a bag of this, that y'all really had to um, have the people. If y'all got the people, y'all get the bag. If y'all get 100 people a piece, y'all going to get a stupid bag. It's about like, if y'all can bring out, if y'all do a show by yourself and bring out 100 people, people gonna be running at your door. And there's no lie. Mm -hmm. 
And that's the secret to this. You got to get the people. And sell your merch. That's all it is. So all that planning and being strategic and trying to goddamn, goddamn cut a corner and, you know, trying to, like, pay the goddamn, get in front of a car and stuff like that. When it's time for you to goddamn show and prove on your own and you don't have 100 people or more there, they're going to know, they're going to immediately know that, that you, that you flexed them. You know what I'm saying? Then the word going to get around. Oh, you're going to get a bad deal. You're going to get one of those sucker deals, you know? Yeah, you're just going to put all the money up. Put all the money up, and they're going to make you, you're going to be their puppet. So you either work hard, don't be a puppet, or be a puppet, and don't do no hard work. You're going to give all your money up because you don't want to work hard. That's, that's what y'all can do. That's all it is. So you want to take the easy way out, don't do no work, let them do everything for you because you're being lazy and don't want to talk to nobody. Or you go out there and talk to somebody and y'all can have that 50-50 um, that partnership like they be talking about. Because mm. I sign you. You, you want to sign? Sign you. You're going to be, you can't even get mad at me because I'm going to have to do all the work. I'm going to get a bigger kit. What's up, man? Anybody got any questions? Anybody want to say anything? No questions? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else got any questions? Anybody need some help on something? Like, I got a question. Yeah. What made you even start the playlist? Well, maybe start the playlist academy, right? I was doing the playlist part at um department store, and I used to have like all the artists come in, like Ludacris, Two Chains, um, Jeezy. He opened up for Jeezy. Um, pretty much everybody in the city came through there, right? So I used to let these people, Cody Shane was one of them, this guy named Chili Chills and Deontay, they all got signed, boom. I was like, I didn't even know they was getting signed. I was just like, damn. They in, they in situations like Chili Chills, Kanye flew them out to Cali, you know what I'm saying? Um, Cody got signed, Epic, you know? So this that situation was like, happened so fast. I didn't even know what I was doing. I didn't even know what I had built, you know? And people just got, all the industry people was coming in there and they were just plucking people, like boom, boom. You just, everybody getting signed. I'm like, hold up, man, I need to just, you know, do something to like prepare these kids. Cause it's going so fast and they getting, getting in these situations and they don't even, you know, it's just happening so fast. So Johnny was in the very first playlist academy, Johnny Apollo. And um, I saw him at the guitar center. I was just like, hey man, you need to just come. Don't fuck with me. I just kind of saw it in him a little bit. He was he was going to the department store, but he was just going on Tuesday. It's like different nights, you know what I'm saying? And shit, I let him tell you. He thought that, he thought the playlist party was like I don't know what he thought, you know what I'm saying? But he was like, Jay, man, you only promoted this one time. He's like, it's gonna be somebody. Just, are you sure this is gonna have some people here? And what happened, Jen? Shit, I'm like, it was lit. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, I just, just, just dropped one flyer because I didn't want people to know what artists I was going to do. And because, um, you know, people like kind of like try to sabotage your, your day and like be like, oh man, you don't need to go over there today, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I just wait till the last second, like the day before, and drop who I was going to have there. And um, it just be automatically be lit. So that's what I'm used to doing, one day promotion and having hundreds of people there. I can't do that with y'all yet. That's why I'm just looking at y'all like these artists, there's a lot of artists out here that can just, you can just drop their shit one day and that shit be packed. Olay was a witness to it. You know what I'm saying? He came to the department store a lot of times. You didn't get to see the department store, did you? Yeah, yeah, so. They brought something to the neighborhood, so they had perfect attendance in that one. <laughs> 
Yannick, yeah, Yannick, yeah, Yannick was in the department store. Am I? He saw. He got to see no, the movement. No, no lie, because I mean, the peak was probably like I would say when Little Yachty dropped. Yeah. That was it. Everything. Was that like twenty one, twenty one savage. Yeah. Like all just everybody, like everybody, like that was the prime. You oh, never see that happen in Atlanta on one street where. All these rappers just start blowing up. That shit was it. That's when that shit was it. Mm -hmm. R R P Trouble, cause Trouble was like the mayor in that bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We had first ESP play together, like starting. Yeah. Well, it had to be about 20, 15, 16, 15. Yeah, when the department started, it was like 2015. 14. 14, yeah. Hey, I was goddamn freshman. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah
nigga, you got them trying to die hard and go in that motherfucker. That's right. And then he was like, bro, the pictures we take after every class, nigga. Nigga be like, yeah, then all them motherfuckers right there was in that class that one period of time. Like, right? then got it. Damn. Like, look at that guy who, who on the wall right now. Man, Jay Wise, bro, in the coincidence, bro. You feel me? Nigga last name Wise. Who, who, who the last nigga you know of? King Solomon, what you talking about, bro? Hey, I just then, said that. And then, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know you, I know you hate me. Yeah, 80. Hey, my brother bought me, brother, on an edit. Yeah, you bought 41, 42. I'm, I'm, yeah. Exactly, bro. I'm glad you know how to add, boy. I'm not glad you know how to add, boy. <laughs> it's about them 80s, 80s, bro. They, they is not regular, regular, bro. Yeah. Man, this shit be beautiful, bro. Man, it's a riot, a riot. What you think? What you have? What you need to work on? Um, Thanks, by the way, light man. man. I appreciate that, man. You know it, bro. You MVP for real. I feel like I'm trying to think. Like, I'm trying to think. 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 I'm trying to Okay. I need a team to help me with marketing, with, you know, targeting my audience, with everything. Cause I have the stuff to get there. I just need to put it to the right people. Okay. So I'm I'm doing that now with this drink. And when I started this, man, I'm not going to even lie. I almost, like, bailed out on the players because I was so nervous. I had to, I run, I had to, run, I had to run, and go, run out and get it. Like, where you going? No, I, I legit was about in my car about to leave because I, I was just so intimidated by all the talent in the room and that was a year and a half ago and like look at me now yeah so much growth and opportunity and amazing people in the room y'all fine so canty what canty rihanna 2.0 what you what you got <laughs> titties titties <laughs> <laughs> what you gotta work on i mean i just have to you know keep pushing titties you know like of course i'm an artist i'm an artist and i want to keep making music yeah i want to making new music and showing my audience my new songs but you know titties is just making me money yeah. <laughs> i can see it in the statistics you yeah. know what i'm saying so i just gonna have to suck it up and keep pushing it's not a terrible song yeah well, jen how long it. jen watch this jen how long did we push shit the fuck up before we went to something else shit we really pushing that shit like probably like over three years That shit worked like everywhere we went, like every fucking place. Like so, we kept pushing that shit. Stayed on that motherfucker, like super hard. Oh so, yeah, it was a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Johnny, y'all, y'all, here go an example of somebody that started off in the very first Playlist Academy. Got it, done, growed up, did his own shows, got into situations, got partnerships, and we about to release an album, but. Tell them how strategic we were about putting out anything. We would wait on videos. We wouldn't put out nothing. Yeah, man. Jay, Jay really had got me out of the mindset. Because, like, back then, I, I was doing everything. Like, anything. A motherfucker want me to pull up. It's five people there. I'm still going. Like, I was pulling up to everything. And, like, I did that shit so much. And it was really a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, so many people saw my face. And I connected with so many people. But once I had got a certain amount of momentum, mm. you know what I'm saying, then you got to kind of like get your exclusivity game popping. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you can't do any and everything. So JY slowed like that whole little thing I was going down because I was just doing like whatever. You feel me? Like I ain't give a fuck. <laughs> but like, you know what I'm saying? Like he got, me, he got me in the mindset of just doing like boss shit, mm-hmm. bigger shit, doper shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's it right there. Yeah. It's just like, you can just be out here getting that hamster wheel, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And then, you know, everybody think that they can cheat the game, bro, or they can just got the cheat code. Everybody think that, right? You know what I'm saying? Some people get lucky. It's a scratch off every day with this music, right? You go in there, scratch off, you know what I'm saying? Throw it out there, might hit. But it's like, once you throw it out there, it's out there. So you don't waste that good old, that good ticket, you know what I'm saying? Because you trying to, you thinking that's the one and not being smart. Because guess what? You putting all this stuff out there, right? They're going to be like, hey, let me get that catalog from you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, before we give you any more money. But if you don't, if the key is to get the deal with one song. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's another, my bad, dog. That's another thing he, he slowed me down is just dropping songs all the fucking 
time, like, mm-hmm. for no reason. You know what I'm saying? You got to be more strategic with that shit, too. And like he said, like, going into, like, niggas play the shit smooth as fuck, but, like, going into the deal, you want to, like, get your deal for as, as little of your property as possible. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to have all your music already out there. The label is going to, like, be like, okay, boom, that's us. Everything you don't put out, that's us. You know what I'm saying? Whereas you hold on to your shit, that's your shit. You know what I'm saying? You work your deal out, but like you hold on to your shit. Like, that's all I'm trying to say. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, you know, unless you got do the rest, you know what I'm saying? Then all of it just hit. You know, but it's like you get paid, you can get paid for each song you put out if you if you know the right people. You know what I'm saying? It's like each song could be a, a advance or a deal. Especially if you got, like, when you have features and shit like that, that'd that be, like, worth money. You know what I'm saying? You just don't put that shit out there with no marketing or nothing behind it because it's, like, it's just a waste of a good-ass song. And there's no plan behind it. There's no push behind it. And, you know, these songs only have three months three months of life right now. And you got to be, like, why the hell three months of life? You know, it's 60,000 songs that get done like this. So you every time you put your song out, right, 60,000 people come push your shit down. <laughs> Then the next day, another 60000 going to come push your shit down. If you don't have no money, it's just the money make it go cut through the 60,000 people that put their songs up. Hey, yo. Sense, but that's with the marketing, to be in front of people's face. Yeah. Because guess what? Y'all putting this music out, and it's not in front of It's called major visibility. In order for me to get you to like something, it got to be in your face all the time. You said called what? Major visibility. Major visibility. Major, major visibility, <laughs> big visibility. Billboards on your Instagram. Every time you open up YouTube, it's on your in, in, major. You see a commercial of that shit, your face popping up. You know what I'm saying? You got people get brainwashed. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, if you don't have enough money to make that shit visible, it's like what you doing it for? If you're not out there. Doing something crazy like goddamn skydiving, then you catch the news, catch you skydiving, you performing your song. You got to do something that's different than make, because every by the time you do what somebody did else did that got on, it's already been done. It's like we don't seen it. Like everybody's doing it that way now. It's like so. It's like oh, well, I'm, it's nothing different about that shit. I'm gonna just do it like this. He did it like that. Well, you're already doing it some way that he did like to a year or two ago. When he came up with the idea, and it took a year to get to you, and so you doing some two year old shit, and thinking this goddamn some new shit. But you gotta be creative and think outside the box, marketing wise, to catch the attention of somebody that sees a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When Robbie, when he first got started, the way he got on, he used to go to concerts and do the U-Haul and perform in front of the when they standing in line to catch their fans. You know, you gotta think outside of the box to really catch somebody's attention, to get somebody to like, pay attention to your music. You know what I'm saying? Unless you born with a silver spoon and you get some sponsors to get you like Super Bowl commercials and spend like some marketing dollars like the, the fucking advertisers do. You know, like an advertising agent, uh, agency would do. I would do that, you know what I'm saying? That would be smart, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it's like, y'all should buy some commercials, goddamn. For ESPN and just your song be playing. That shit cheap, really. You know what I'm saying? You got to think, you got to have marketing, what ways of marketing, and your target audience, like, they give you all the information. They tell you, you popping in Atlanta, Seattle, goddamn India, or wherever you, you know what I'm saying? Or goddamn Seattle. So you just buy some commercial time, fucking in the States where you at? Where you popping at? It's just little stuff y'all could do. That's that's the that's advanced game right there, though. You know what I'm saying? It's game 2.5, you know what I'm saying? So, from all these classes starting from 2015, yeah. what would you say is like a, uh, a common denominator on something all classes have in common on something that they, on something that they could work on, you feel me? Or something in that general? Oh, sell, sell some tickets. Or work together. That's why. See, I'm trying to trick y'all. It's about them collabs. No, it's not about collabs. About streaming. It's about selling tickets, bro. I'm just telling you what the, the 
Why they ain't blow? They can't sell no tickets. People that sell tickets, they blow. Cody sell tickets blue. Jack Harlow sell tickets blue. That's all it is. Sell some goddamn tickets. You goddamn gonna blow the fuck up because they gonna book you because you can bring people out. That's real. That real. Uh, all that other stuff that people be talking about. Sell some t goddamn tickets. Hey, so look, you know what I teach y'all to sell like got in school? Teach you to go to the door, sell candy or them little prizes and stuff? Because you always got to sell something, bro. Mm -hmm. That's why they make y'all do that as a kid. Only thing you got to do is go, got to talk to everybody. You know how you go in the neighborhood? Some people going to be like, no, boom. Go to the next door, no, boom. That's all it's teaching you. You're going to get them no's. Yeah, I just don't understand what y'all be doing. So it's like, I'm trying to cheat, cheat to have a cheat code for y'all by making y'all just do 10. Really, I'm supposed to be telling y'all to bring out 100 people a piece. But I'm happy with just having 100 people from 10, all y'all, because I, I done seen, seen it class and class and class. People can't bring out 10 people with all these Instagram followers. If I'm, I'm older, I shouldn't be able to bring out more people than y'all. If I was young, y'all age, and had what y'all have access to, I don't know. I would, it would be Project X in this motherfucker all the time. Dead serious. Y'all seen Project X? Yeah. Y'all too cool for school for me, man. It's like, you seen Project X? That shit crazy. Yeah, it, I would, I would, it would be like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, I, it would be that for me if I had Instagram at y'all age and excess and real fans. Like, it's like, what? I would be unstoppable. But, you know. Take advantage of it, man. Just don't be cool, man. Only thing people can do is say no. And guess what? When you get that money, you ain't going to even know the person that said no. Wait, what? Are you going to care? Are you really going to care? You're going to see them and you're going to be laughing because you're going to be pulling up in a Rolls Royce on them. Should have said, you should have fucked with me. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. I'm about to just show y'all with this type of shit. This what. This is what this shit look like. You camera, y'all artists, y'all supposed to have shit like this going on at all times. It's supposed to be cameras rolling every day. Content, content, content. Gonna get y'all, y'all fans, since y'all don't wanna actually go physically, go out there and do shit. This is always an excuse. Oh shit, man, you know. All right, y'all. So this is, this is what y'all gonna have to have. Always have cameras rolling. That's why these people are here today, to show y'all what y'all gonna need to get some fans. Cause y'all gonna have to go to YouTube route and get, get y'all some fans and vlog and do all that all the time. So y'all need camera people. Since y'all don't wanna go physically out there and talk to people. Y'all don't know what y'all scared of. This is all I had to do, that's all I be doing. Selling my merch, talking to people. You can make about $300 a day Selling hats for twenty dollars, like about twelve shirts for twenty dollars, or twelve hats for twenty dollars. That's three hundred dollars a day. That's what three, six, nine, twelve, about twelve hundred a week. But it's about four, about four thousand, about six thousand dollars a month if you just you just selling fucking merch. That's better than going to work. You got work, work. Go outside, talk to people. Don't know what what you might you might get a play. Somebody might buy all that shit from you. You might get a deal. Somebody might, I don't understand it. So, it's on y'all. Yeah, I, I know I can say about, I can say a lot of shit in the hour. That's what I do, I say my little shit in the hour. Go chill, go lay in the bed, call y'all from the phone. I'm fake, in the bed, just chilling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't need one hour out of the day to make one of my plays happen, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get down where I don't need 10 minutes out of the day. That shit just rolling, you know what I'm saying? So, please, can we, can y'all just go hard one time? Can y'all bug somebody one time? It's not for Cody Shane. Man, it's for y'all self. I ain't gonna cap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I know, I know, we personally, I'm finna go hard in general, you feel me? Cause yeah, I know how I going on my end, you feel me? But even how you ask us, you feel me? And how much were you put in to even have, even have to ask us, like, yo, can y'all just tell 10 tickets? I ain't gonna care. 
Honestly, I'm gonna unspeak for Mr. Wild. Man, I need to go hard. I know I'm finna some Edemi in general. I know that. I don't know what that got going on with Edemi, but I don't see why not, for real, for real. real What's gonna hurt? Y'all get lit? <laughs> niggas get rejected all the time. You feel me? You think a nigga mouthpiece develop overnight? You feel me? But that's either him or the That's actually irrelevant. Wait, yeah, I mean, it's cool, right. man. I'm just saying, man. The only thing that happened is like, shit, you got zero people. What the fuck? Y'all actually get some friends and be lit and make some money? Mm-hmm. What? What the fuck? I don't see nothing wrong with that. Are you just going to be by yourself talking about, man, if I just... Shit. I'm telling you, I got this golden mouthpiece, man. I can't tell. Man, I know, so I'm, not just, that, I'm, not, I'm not just, I'm not, I'm not just generally speaking. Man, speaking. If I could rap a whole oh, song, you know how hard it is? You know how much I think this dope that y'all can actually get through a whole song? Y'all can actually, like, so creative, y'all can get through a whole song. You know how many people in the world can't even make a song all the way through that sound, that sound good? You know how many terrible songs it is out here? <laughs> get on some real shit. So for y'all to be able to make quality music, y'all already ahead of the class, you know, on that end. So if y'all can do that, why y'all can't go out there and get no, if I could rap and stuff and sing, I would be talking, wait, I would be using that to my advantage, you know. So see what's going on right now. And you can dance, you, I'll be out there dancing with people. You dance against Fable, you did a whole goddamn motherfucking, ooh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now what about COVID? What when COVID was? What about COVID? Yeah, that was an excuse too. COVID was an excuse too. Guess what? I was outside doing COVID. I was outside. Yeah, I was outside, bro. Wait, I was out in California. I was out there playing music. It was cheap. It was, like, bro. If you gotta go get it, man, ain't nothing like you gonna wait. You gonna oh you gonna come? Y'all pie. If y'all got damn going, that's the time to make the money. Yeah, walk in faith. Walk in faith and go get that money, baby. Go get that money. Like, that's all it is. That's the time to go get it. Y'all tripping. Like, y'all really sat down and just sat sat in the house and did nothing? That was the time to go get it. That was the time to win. That's why. (laughs) 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 Yeah. Yeah, man, it sounds wrong. So I just appreciate I just appreciate y'all giving me, you know what I'm saying, believing in this. Y'all just giving this an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all be out there, y'all y'all exploring, y'all y'all do a lot of things, but I really had fun with y'all, man, this particular class. I I wanted to turn up. Man, I had a blast. You know what I'm saying? But I experienced something like this, bro. I just think about Devon Thomas and what it took to even get here, you feel me? Knowing, knowing the brother on the right path. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking I can do. That being said, a lot of individuals in here are on the path on something great, you feel me? I ain't gonna get a lot of talent in the room, you feel me? A lot of potential. Yo, Jim, yo, Jim what you, do what you feel like you need to work on? Um, I feel like I need to work on everything across the board. I'm not perfect, you feel me? But definitely, Definitely um, promotion, marketing, yeah. I gotta put, I gotta run my ads for sure, and then get merch, get my website. Yeah, let's get this thing going. Supreme, mm. Mr. Cool himself. Yo, you come on, you come sit right here. They need to cut. They can't see you. You gotta get up for a second, man. Drinking this motherfucking coconut water. You feel me? Gotta stay healthy out here. That boy got that Hawaiian silk in here, man. <laughs> but check this out, man. So, I mean, for me, I really just gotta draw music and then I just gotta post on, on social media because motherfuckers don't fuck with my shit, period. It's just, I just don't be dropping this shit. But um, I just wanna say that I greatly appreciate you and everybody in here really appreciates you because, like, you really have a good heart and you want everybody to win. And that's so important because, you know, we the next generation of stars and we got to have all the game. And you're giving us all the game. And it's so important. And we're thankful. No, so no problem. Cool. You feel me? Yeah. Gif, what you think? What, what you think?
people first. Because I'd be inviting people up, and they'd be like, I'm shy of them, so I'm going to reply. I'd be like, I didn't even get any. You know, temptations, they used to use that trick. The shy yeah. guy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 Shit, I gotta be winning, man. But, um, yeah, so I just gotta like talk more. So I be bringing people out. So I just want everybody to be a community of friends so we can all, like, I'm trying to think, like, if Amen. I bring these people out here and everybody from me out here, I can have, like, tell us friend of theirs and my people. And we go to the different things and we all be a good thing. Mm. So I'm trying to work on that. Slim, would you? What you need to work on, Slim? It's your time to talk, Slim. You like to talk? Come on. You Anything specific that you need to focus on, though? Like, what would you say specifically you would need to focus on? What do you say specifically, like, if you had to put it like laser focus, what what would be? Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, um, Olay, what, come on, you got to come up here, man. What do you think? Uh, what do you need to work on? See, um, I got to work on my marketing, man, a little more promotion. Okay. I understand because it is something that you get to the next level. I got enough people, you know. I just, I'm on paper. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff I can't do right now. Okay. Exactly. Oh, hey, congratulations. Congratulations, hey, Olay. Hey, Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm going to You know where it's going now. We're going to go on and push the brand and yeah. work on the marketing. Yeah. Go on and get to it. Give them what they want. Yeah, White, what's up, man? What you need to work on? You got to stand up. Don't, you're always hiding. You got to stand up, man. Come on. Yeah, man, shit, that shit, real shit. Hey, man, shit, man, I appreciate this shit, man. Congratulations, y'all got Cody Shane this week. I get a beans on three. Yo, yeah, let's get a beans on three, y'all. <laughs> let's get it. One, two, three. Beans. 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 Beans.